Hello again everyone. In this video tutorial we will be finding the partial fraction for this given rational expression. Before we get started we need to make a couple of observations. So the very first observation is that the degree in the numerator is indeed less than the degree in the denominator. And the second observation is that we have the linear factors in the denominator. So let's get started with the partial fraction. So this rational expression can be written as a over the first linear factor, which is x plus 1 plus b divided by the second linear factor, which is x minus 2. The next step what we want to do is we want to get rid of this fraction. In order to get rid of this fraction we need to multiply on the left hand side whatever is at the bottom at the denominator we're going to multiply across the board. So we're going to multiply x plus 1 times x minus 2 x plus 1 times x minus 2 and x plus 1 times x minus 2. So once we did that thing, you see this crosses out with this thing, this is gone with this one, this is gone with this one, this is gone with this one. So what we ended up with, we ended up with just 4x plus 1 equal to a times x minus 2 plus b times x plus 1. Now we need to find the value of a and b. So here is our simple trick that we will be using as long as we have these linear factors whatever you have a two linear factor x plus 1 and x minus 2 set them equal to 0 so the first what x value we got is negative 1 the other one we got is x equals to 2 so now this is what we're going to do so in order to find a value and b value i'm going to say at x equal to this negative first negative 1 first what happens if we plug it in over here so this become 4 times negative 1 plus 1 equals to what happens this is a times negative 1 minus 2 we just and here look at this b when you plug it in x equal to negative 1 this negative 1 plus 1 makes 0 so this is b times 0 so what we got this is negative 4 plus 1 makes negative 3 equal to negative 3a and this b is gone which tells me that a equals to 1. Now likewise we have another x equals to 2. So we're going to say at x equals to 2 what happens? When you plug it in x equal to 2 in our this original equation we're going to get what 4 times 2 plus 1 equals to look at this thing this a times when you plug it at 2 2 minus 2 becomes 0 plus b times 2 plus 1 so that's going to be 8 plus 1 makes 9. So this this 0, we don't have to write down. This is equal to 3b, which tells us that b equals to 3 value. So thus our complete partial fraction is going to be simply by just replacing a by 1 and b by 3. So wherever you see a, you replace it by 1 and replace b by 3. So thus our complete answer 
is going to be simply 1 over x plus 1 plus 3 over x minus 2 and that is our complete answer thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos